Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, rejoining the crew out at Tremonia Station today. Uh, the two scientists aboard, uh, one of which is John Oliver, sorry I can't remember the name of the other, have already been moved into the shuttle. They are going to be going home this flight. And uh, we have gotten trusty Boris out uh, of the crew container with his uh, ever handy uh, power drill. And he's going to start by cleaning a few parts here off the uh, side of the station. Although his uh, primary objective for this spacewalk is to get the uh, drive module uh, to some form of operational status. So uh, after gathering a few parts and um, getting his space legs back, and of course remembering how to use the uh, Kerbal Attachment System key commands, he will uh, drop these parts off at containers which have uh, mysteriously been shifted. They were not clipping into each other when we built this thing, although they probably were when we launched. That might just be an artifact from uh, copying this one from a previous build. And uh, we're going to go first pull the old thrusters off of the drive module and uh, return them to these cargo containers. They are not set up correctly for uh, Aerozine and N2O. So they don't really uh, do us any good, considering that's the fuel type we have out here. I think they're still set to their default fuel type, which is uh, hydrogen. and Or not hydrogen, I'm sorry, uh, cold gas, nitrogen. And of course, this thruster wants to play the you-can't-click-on-me game, which is uh, a whole lot of fun when you're wedging your astronaut in between a huge canister of uh, highly explosive materials and a cargo bay. But uh, they need to be pulled off one by one because they basically fill the inventory slot uh, or the inventory capacity of a, a single Kerbal on EVA uh, pretty much instantly. My original plan was to just drag a crate over here and gather all four of them at one time. But uh, with those crates clipping together like they are, I'm a little worried that trying to pull one off will result in very bad things. So uh, we're just going to take the time and do them one by one, which uh, I know drags this out a little bit, but uh, it does make for some pretty awesome views uh, out of the cargo bay and into the void of space. And uh, does kind of give you a uh, concept of the scale here with uh, how absolutely massive this Mark III shuttle is. Anyway, that should be our last port. So we'll just uh, run and drop this one back here. Now, you might be asking yourself what exactly we're going to do as far as uh, getting that uh, drive module some maneuverability again. And uh, here's a quick answer. We're kind of scheduled to remove most of these thruster ports anyway to reduce part count on the station and uh, kind of get it cleaned up a little bit, help improve our load times a little bit. But uh, we can just uh, repurpose some of these thrusters, which are configured for aerosene and nitrogen tetroxide, and go ahead and remember how to attach things first instead of just dropping them. It would be bad if we just let these things float off into space pretty aimlessly. And there we go. There's a solid attachment. Good job, Boris. You didn't blow anything up yet. Yet. So we'll just uh, fly on out to our uh, research module again here. And, well, I was going to try to put down some of these strut mounts, but they just don't really seem to want to attach. Yeah, of course not. That would make things entirely too easy. So we're just going to continue with our single objective, or one objective this spacewalk, which is to collect four of these quad ports and uh, get them attached to the drive module so that we can hopefully maneuver this thing. I'm going to try my absolute best to get their uh, placement even and well spaced, but uh, yeah, these things become a little difficult when you're bouncing around in zero G, I should have brought some ladder sections or uh, something that we could place on the side so that our Kerbal could uh, have something to grab onto. And of course, we can't place that thing in the same spot where there is already a thruster. And I don't understand what it's trying to mount to there when it zooms out and gets real close to us, but it's just not cooperating. So we will detach it and then reattach it because uh, that removes its ability to uh, get in our way. So, 
two out of four thrusters done. And we'll just uh, come right back out here and pick up our third. Now, of course, I do have his uh, suit fuel levels pinned open there in the corner. I have absolutely zero intention of losing, not even losing. We didn't lose Catherine Richards. We just uh, let her drift off into space for a little while. She was recovered and is safe and is uh, gainfully employed still, despite almost uh, going adrift for a while. So three out of four thrusters placed. This spacewalk is nearing its completion with uh, about two thirds of our fuel spent and a little nudge across the antenna. No big deal. Nothing broke. Uh, although that would be a first for Boris. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Fourth thruster collected. And we'll just take the long way around and enjoy the view. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, and then we just have to uh, wedge ourselves in between the cargo bay and the drive module once again. Oh, we've already got one on this side. Yeah, go me. No big deal. All right. There we go. This is the side without one, and of course it's going to be a, a little difficult. I'm getting a little quicker on the triggers, so these things are starting to behave a little more normally. But uh, we'll get Boris back inside. He's probably got a low fuel light on or something. Have him enter the uh, cab module again. Make sure there's fuel in the drive module and uh, try to undock it. This is just going to be a test run. We're not going to maneuver it into position yet. Boris has some further... Uh, things to attach out there, namely some strut ports that we were fidgeting with earlier. And uh, we have confirmation. All four thrusters firing. We have uh, lateral control, roll control. It's looking pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and reattach this thing and uh, hopefully let it get locked. There we go. Locked and docked. So Boris has some more work to do on EVA, but that's going to do it for this real quick episode. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. I really do appreciate it, and I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.